okay slide number three and uh, we know that we have uh, two uh, different animal kind of animals which is one is uh, depend on the plants directly and one is depend on the plant indirectly now let's move ahead okay fine so you see these cubs moving um, on top of a uh, mommy uh, line and uh, that's uh, uh, showing different movements is a common feature of living organism it's right okay now showing different movement is common feature of living organism you move uh, everyone moves uh, the living things moves right okay now that's really a nice uh, picture over there that uh, it says um, a froggy has taken his suitcase and it's moving like uh, maybe that frog is a pilot maybe uh -huh. okay fine now what's that apart from movements some animals can move from place to place this is uh, one place to another place an animal moves when the animal is moving it's called locomotion animals moving from one place to another place is called locomotion yes it happens some plant some birds migrate from one country to another country and uh, animals always moves once you, you you see that animal is not uh, uh, stationary in one place okay that's fine now let's I have a question to you all right most green plants produce food within themselves when I say that you know the answer oh that's it okay most green plants produce food within themselves hence what are these plants called so what are these plants called the green plants create their own food so what are they called okay that's what they are asking so let's see the answers okay autotrophic mm -hmm. heterotrophic locomotion and growth you know the answer the green f plants which it has the capacity and capabilities to create their own f food that's called autotrophic yes heterotrophics are humans who cannot uh, create uh, their own foods cows buffaloes elephants locomotion is about moving one place to another place growth is about a living thing gr growing by size increasing their sizes okay fine let's move it this depends on plants indirectly it's a question once again this depend on plants indirectly out of which which one is depend on plants indirectly one is there you already know the answer i know that elephant does eat plants deer definitely it eats plants as well does lion eat plants mm, no okay what about rhino rhino doesn't eat animals right it eats grass so the answer you have line is the right answer okay move ahead now animals moving from one place to another place is called locomotion you know that animal moving one place to another place is called locomotion so locomotion is all about animals moving one place to another place but locomotion has a different type you know what is that i mean let's see that swimming the fish is swimming and moving from one place to another place now snake doesn't swim it creep it's creeping and uh, have you seen a creeping uh, horse <laughs> no it's running so horse is running now the uh, the other slide is very interesting see what is that right how do bird move okay how do bird move yes bird fly you all right i think i heard you all you're all telling that it's moving with flying and what about this how a human moves okay i'm not going to click my answer again how a human moves guess let's see what we have here ah oh, the guy oh my god he's moving by walking so human moves by walking like that okay now there are some animals that cannot move but they show different movements i like this slide you will also like this slide there are some animals that cannot move but they show different movements let's see what is that sea anemone sea anemone look at this oh yeah when it is touching it's moving it's moving inside wow oh my god that's a lovely creature that allah had created for us right okay fine it's inside it's under the sea okay next one is that's an awesome thing under the water that's so beautiful isn't it these are coral polyp it moves wow it's so beautiful subhanallah that's so beautiful and coral polyps definitely moves 
fine let's move ahead now some examples of movements of plants you can you know everyone knows it so i know you guys are already smiling we have that particular plant in our garden and we used to play play with that okay it has a thorn which can prick on your finger i used to play a lot when i was a child like you and uh, when you touch it's telling touch me not that's the name of that plant let's see after a touch the leaves of a touch me not plant shows a sleeping movement that has a biological name remember it mimosa 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 plant shows a sleeping movement when it is touching now there are some other plants also like you go and sleep on your bed uh, when you want to sleep these plants they sleep leaves show sleeping movement in the evening so let's see uh i think we eat this yes i love this uh my, my mom used to make salad out of it and um, now even i eat that very likely it's called ahati that's uh cisbenia is the name of that biologically but uh, in tamil we call it ahati then it's yummy if you won't go to the uh, go with your mom to the market you ask where, where is ahati in tamil and she will show you this sleeps in the evening and the next one is that's a beautiful flower okay this tree is a huge one albizia so it's kathuru murunga that e people used to eat that also like that's so nice right albizia and sesbenia so 